Am I the A for refusing to host Thanksgiving after my sister handed out a family code of conduct contract? This happened recently, and I'm still baffled. For context, I, 32 female, have hosted Thanksgiving for my family every year since I moved into my house five years ago. It's always a little messy and chaotic, but that's part of the charm, right? This year, my sister, 29 female, decided she wanted to help bring some order to the gathering. At first, I thought she just meant coordinating who would bring what dishes or helping with cleanup. Instead, she showed up at my house last week with printed copies of what she called a family code of conduct. She handed these out and insisted everyone read and sign them before attending Thanksgiving. Some highlights included a rule against overlapping conversations at the dinner table with suggestions for taking turns like a respectful debate club, a ban on political or controversial topics with her as the final arbiter of what was too heated, a dress code of smart casual because holiday photos will reflect well on the family, assigned seating that she claimed was based on optimal personality compatibility. She was completely serious. When I laughed and said, you can't be serious, she accused me of not taking her efforts to improve family dynamics seriously. I told her I wasn't going to enforce a code of conduct at my house and that if she wanted to micromanage Thanksgiving, she could host it herself. She doubled down, saying I was being ungrateful and stubborn. I canceled hosting, and now the family is mad at me. My mom thinks I should have just humored her for the day, while my brother, 35 male, is refusing to go anywhere unless no one tries to draft a holiday constitution. I'm torn. Was I wrong for standing my ground? Or should I let her run the day to keep the peace? Now for the top comments. Just host your brother, LOL. Tell everyone else that if they're happy with the code of conduct, they're free to attend your sister's house. However, you will not be hosting. You can even sign a declaration of Thanksgiving independence, declaring yourself free of micromanaging attempts to create a Hallmark family dinner. Create your declaration by a round of whatever absolutely chaotic activity you love or loved as kids. This, OP host your brother, tell your parents they are welcome only if they stop mollycoddling your sister. Tell your sister she is not welcome unless she drops this BS. Your house, your rules, and all that. If she doesn't like it, she can stay home, but unless she is doing the cleaning, prep, set up, and cooking for the family on her turf, she doesn't get to make decrees. And for kicks and giggles, I think you should tell your brother that to spite your sister, you guys are all doing PJs for Christmas. I mean, I'm all for smart casual, but this would be gang on like Donkey Kong time. I'm with your brother. This would make me skip Thanksgiving altogether. Not the A. If she wants to be the Thanksgiving police, she's welcome to attempt this at her own house. Simple fix. Tell her she's welcome to not come to your house for Thanksgiving, host the family members who are willing to come, never do something to keep the peace. This just leads to more problems down the road. When your parents get upset and say anything again, let them know that they are welcome to go to your sister's and live by her rules for the holiday. Thanksgiving is stressful enough without BS rules. My mother-in-law had only a couple of rules. Number one, food would be on the table as soon as it's done in the afternoon. If you can't make it on time, there will be leftovers. Two, no one may talk about religion or politics. Three, little kids may have chicken nuggets if they want them. These rules prevent drama. Your mother wanting you to humor her for the day is nothing more than your mother wanting her peace. 
not anyone else's. It is the equivalent of saying, well, that's just her personality, which is BS. Your sister is being rude, and your mother knows that, but doesn't want to confront your sister herself. Actually, your post made me laugh. I'm thinking along the lines of you handling it like a boss. Still laughing. You did good. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.